Hey, yo, what's good, y'all? This is Timmy Lee Glean. Um, so, I'm actually about to go record a YouTube video. <laughs> I'm about to actually go record. And it's funny that I just felt moved to do this right now. Um, this ain't gonna be no YouTube video, most likely. I'm most likely just gonna post it on my personal pages. Um, but this is very much a personal thing. And I think people that know me more would know more of a context of how I've been um, my whole life and how the way I've been has been a problem in my adult life and these are things that I'm going to be talking about in some of my series on um, my YouTube channel uh, was it Timmy Lee Glean aka Set Apart Timmy uh, I'll probably leave a link in whatever I post this on but um I'm pretty comfortable posting on my personal Facebook and, um, you know, people that I know personally that can hear the testimony, that can see the testimony, that can see what the most high is doing in my life. And, um, man, I'm, I'm grateful. I'm thankful. And I'm just, I'm just praying, man. I'm just praying that the most high could truly, you know, not, and thing is, I, that ain't even my prayer that the most high could <laughs> you know it ain't a fact that he could you know it's the fact that sometimes the most high could but he's waiting he's waiting on us to take that step and to take that leap it's good to have faith and i believe that faith will get you but so far but as it, as it says in james uh it says faith without works is dead just like the spirit just like the body without spirit <laughs> like faith without works you know, so the most high is unctioning us, the most high is moving us, the most high is pushing us into being people that he could truly use. In order to do that, man, you gotta have faith in him that he can do what he does. It says, uh, where it says in Hebrew, when um Hebrews, it says, you know, when we come to the throne of grace, come boldly. And if we believe he is, <laughs> like we're coming to the one that is, that was, is, and is to come. And if we're going to the one that created everything, the one that sent his only begotten son to die for us and, and to be risen. And if we believe in that and have faith in that, we're going to the creator of everything. Man, sometimes we don't have to be so formal and sometimes we don't have to be so uh, in heaven and things like that. <laughs> you know, but man, the most high man is wonderful, man. The most high is wonderful. He's worked on my mind and my heart. You know, but I still have issues and I would say my biggest issue and it's always been my issue is my communication. And it's like when you let's see what this look like. I don't know, I don't feel right without a tie. Yeah. But oh, what was I saying? Ding 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 ding. I kinda lost it, but the gist of what I'm trying to say in this video is I have issues. We all have issues. I have issues and this is the first time where I can clearly point something out. Now there's, there's things, we all have things and I believe we have things that the Most High is sanctifying us from, like sins and things like that. Like I'm not talking about sins. I'm talking about a mindset that's been embedded in me or not really embedded it's been something that's been in me since i was a child i know what it is now as a grown-up but as a child i didn't know why i didn't like to be around people i didn't know why i was always to myself why i used to hide i used to be in my house and i used to hide like my mom told me a story about when i was a baby and when i was hiding and they were looking everywhere for me and they couldn't find me that's because I used to hide in the dryer. I used to go in cupboards under under the under the sinks and stuff. I used to go in closets. Not even just my closet. I used to go in closets. We had a toy bin that I could climb into. And I'm clearly remembering this stuff at two years old that I did not remember until I started walking with the most high. And it's funny. Like, I, I really can clearly see myself two years old climbing inside of a dryer. And, um... I used to always get figgity and wiggity, you know, like, think about a two-year-old that's quiet <laughs> and just go off to his own and he cool, but man, but when you have that growing up, like I said, I was in the special ed 
and lots of people speak to me crazy and treat me crazy because I'm in a special ed. And even though I wasn't like slow or Down syndrome or really didn't have any certain issues, I still was in a special ed for special issues. I wasn't talking to nobody. I wasn't a good communicator. And growing up over the years, I never garnered good communication skills. I just garnered communicating with people that were around me that I knew, you know, so as I got older, like 18, 19, and that's where communication starts to matter, I feel like, especially when you have people in your life. At that point, I'm not talking to my dad, I'm not talking to my mom, brothers, sisters, like everybody. And I mean, for months, I would go months and months and months without talking to nobody. Um, after, you know, I got to a certain age, and I realized, you know, life, the way that life happens, the way that life is, yeah, you know, it's things that take us here, things that take us there, you know, but there's been people that I love in my life, people that I love that I make time for, even even just for a phone call. And I remember my father and um, he moved away to Macon, Georgia um, the year he passed away. Uh, earlier the year he passed away and I remember I was just going to the airport with him and um, just sending him off and he left me his guitar. I had no idea that would be the last time that I would even see him. I spoke to him a couple times, but it was a span of time where I didn't talk to nobody. I was feeling down, and when I feel down and just things happening in my life, I don't like to be around people. I don't like people to see me a certain way. I don't I don't like it. But since walking with the most high, I've been a lot more open with it, you know, but still I'm realizing when you're walking with the most high, there's like special kinds of battles. There's this it, there's a special battle when you're walking with the most high. We all gonna battle something regardless, but it's a special battle. And some of these things, you know, it, it triggers the anxieties um, that y'all's been dealing with me on. Um, and I'm way better than I used to be before. It went from just overall anxiety to pinpointing social anxiety and then pinpointing the the lie of the introvert. Um, with people calling me an introvert i'm not an introvert <laughs> i just don't rock with people or even if i don't rock with people even if i do rock with you you could be somebody i love that i'm close to like you know i, I don't be feeling like talking all the time and i don't feel like you know it, it'd be so much to do <laughs> especially the father's business this practical life in general like the housely responsibilities work or whatever you have to do I'm an entrepreneur, so it, it it's it's this interesting space that I'm in. But you know, all praises to the most high because he is dealing with me. But being the owner of three businesses and not being good at communication, I feel like that's the number one way to just having failing businesses. Not to fail in your businesses, but to have a failed business. But because I'm the type to not like to give up and I'm the type of person, if I'm running a race and I'm about to die, I would rather die to finish the race than to stop. Now, I know that's kind of a messed up mindset, but that's my mindset. If I'm running in a race, I will die before I quit. That's how I got to feel with this walk with the most high and the things that he's calling me to do. So if he's called me to do music, yes, God's will records. We start the record label and we do it for his glory. And that's the number one thing that I should be doing. But I put music on the back burner. I said, hey, let me do some two industries that I really don't know much about. Fashion and production. And both of these have a plethora of things that you have to learn individually in those specific fields. Business is business all around. But when you look at the at certain aspects of business, it's like these are three different businesses and three different things. I study music, but there's still more things that I need to study and learn because I'm always growing and learning and studying. But those are just three businesses that's not saying the work that i do outside of that that ain't even saying the, my children i raised them i homeschooled them and i'm doing all this and that and that and this and, and then other things just start to just pile up in your life and pile up in your mind and pile up in your brain and then the devil brings a tax on the tax on the tax and it becomes so overwhelming that you just want to ah! and just get away from everybody like and not in a like I'm not trying to get away from people like running away. I just need time. That's what I realized. I need time. 
I need time with myself. I need time with my thoughts. I need time with the most high. But most importantly, above that secret place time, that's my relationship. I need a space to exercise what I've been praying about in secret. And these are moments and opportunities that give me the chance to exercise what I've been praying about. It's like this. I've been praying for patience, but instead of the most high just supernaturally, boom, patience. He'll throw a situation in front of me where I might get impatient. Now it's up to me for the Holy to, to yield to the Holy Spirit in that moment and be like, you know what? Thank you. Thank you for the experience. Even if we mess up in those experiences, what we're praying about, we can look back and see like, oh, this is what you wanted me to do in this. But I did this. Then you repent and then you keep on moving forward. And the next time something like that arises, the Holy Spirit will bring it about to your remembrance, the word or just that experience. And you will know how to handle it after. And that's like me. There's so many life things right now that I feel like I'm not going to say can't touch me, but I should never let it affect my communication with anybody. Like especially my loved ones and people that I'm close with, confidants, people that I work with, business partners uh, moving forward in the future. I believe there's a bad reputation around my name right now. <laughs> um, since being under this art grant that I've been, and it's just uh, like, even like my inability to communicate even up to this time. It's like ever since I got COVID, man, and then I got sick right after, and then more trials are just, man. And running back to my vomit, dealing with, you know, sin as well, on top of like life stuff. And man i want to live right man and i, I wouldn't even feel right being out here like i'm doing right and my secret life ain't even right and i'm not somebody that likes to hide a secret life secretly i like to deal with life with the most high but how many of you know is the prayers of a righteous man avails much and that if we confess our faults our sins to one another and have others pray for us man <laughs> be healed man or whatever it may be man the prayers of a righteous man avails much and let me tell you i've seen that firsthand you know but you know i'm tired man i'm tired of myself like if i'm this business owner i said i'll be looking good i look nice and i'm sitting here in the house <laughs> not getting to nothing not doing nothing not being productive not even like like I said, I had opportunity and I feel like I cut some people off that mean well and, and, and that want to do great with me, that want to do great work. And I believe great work can be done. And I'm just telling you that I'm ready to right my wrongs. Um, I'm ready to turn things around. I'm ready to move forward. I'm ready to rekindle whatever I've broken with anybody. I'm ready to reconnect with people that I may need to connect with, just people in the body of Christ that are, that you know, have kingdom ideas and a kingdom purpose. And, and we could really get together and do some damage for the kingdom. Um, you know, and this is just for anybody here or even outside of here. I am going to post this on YouTube, by the way. Um, so YouTube people, you, you're going to see it as well. And I hope that you're blessed by, you know, just being be honest, straightforward, my testimony. Uh, for those of you that already know me, that know my testimony um, or don't really 100% know my testimony. Um, it's a blessing to even you know be able to witness to you you know a lot of you i know don't really believe um in christ you might believe in your other philosophies your other religions your other things but you know i hope something that i'm saying can spark something in you you know regardless of i'm not trying to force my beliefs on you but i wouldn't be a servant of the most high i wouldn't be an ambassador of christ if i don't represent christ if i don't tell you the good news of christ and that he died and rose up on the third day and if you believe in that you will be saved and that's our foot in the door you know but ultimately man i hope you you are blessed i hope you you know and just pray for me no legit pray for me you know and i need to overcome these things and i am this is a step but it's time to take more steps so that's what we're about to do in Yahushua name. Right. Love y'all. Peace out. Woo -woo.